happening today, a bill that could lead to you paying more for power, will go to the House for a vote. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway is live at the legislative building this morning with what both sides are saying about this proposal. Joseph? Yeah, this bill is moving quickly through the General Assembly. The Senate passed it yesterday, and then the House is going to vote on it later today. But leaders at Duke Energy have been actually meeting with state officials for months now behind closed doors. This new bill would allow them to request rate hikes for up to three years at a time, with the goal of transitioning to more renewable energy sources. And the company's goal is to become carbon neutral by the year 2050. Some advocacy groups were concerned about Previous versions of this bill saying that customers' rates would end up going up by nearly 50% in a few years. But Governor Roy Cooper says that's not the case with this proposal. This legislation requires the state to get on a clean energy path at the least cost. There is nothing, in our opinion, in this legislation to help low income people offset these costs. And coming up in the next half hour, hear why a Duke Energy spokesperson says that they believe that this is in the public's best interest. For now, we're live in Raleigh. Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.